Well, it's a good time. It's a good story for football. He uh, uh, probably, probably thinks every day is a bonus. So, um, you know, he attacks the ball hard. He, wants, he plays hard. He wants to be an AFL footballer. And he had, I suppose, a lot of things went through his mind last year. It would have been the last thing he thought of as is playing football. It was more about his health and and being alive. You already starting to see some of the things you want to instill in the playing group come come through. Oh, we're a long way short of that. So the attempt was there, but no, we're getting a bit confused with the two game structures from last year and this year. No, there's, there's, no, we'll, need, we'll certainly need the three NAB Cups in front of us to, to iron out a few, um, a few areas of concern. Nice to have a little comeback at the end of the first game. To kind of... oh, was, that, that was very, very pleasing, promising and pleasing. It was, uh, I think the game was every one because of the heat, and anything can happen when you have a you know, in those sort of in that environment, you can score very quickly. And it's not that we hadn't scored; it's just, it just that we'd missed taken opportunities and missed them. And but they're they're already, they're going to be a very good football side. We know they're going to be a good football side, and that's that was very evident today. So it was it was well, it was it was very good to uh, be able to rebound, get in front, and stay in front. They seem to have even come even in sort of twelve months. Whatever they seem to be developing the guys. Pretty... Yeah, it is NAB Cup, yeah. but but they are a good football side, very good football side. In terms of the difference from last year and this year, what are the biggest things that you might work on before the season comes Oh, it's, it's, there's a whole host of... Look, I haven't, your interview's not going to last that long. There's just a lot of things that are, that are different. I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong. It's just this is the way I want to do it and this is the way it's got to be. We can't have mixed game structures and plans and uh, everything else. So there's enough there from today to, to be shown and it's crystal clear. Uh, and it'll, it'll show itself up with the video, and hopefully we will. What I've, what I've spoken about will be more now to be able to relate it to the actual game, and say, well, there it is. That's what I was talking about. So therefore, uh, again, it's not going to be cured overnight, but at least it's there. What was the message in between the two games? Was it just that, that just the game plan that you wanted? Oh no, the player group knew the game structure. Now he's going through that. You don't go through a ten-minute break or twenty-minute break. It was, it was trying to get the. Um, the most uh, least, of, least effective players on the ground with the resources we had. It was pretty demanding out there. Very demanding. Mm -hmm. Does that make that second result a little more impressive given how impressive it is? Well, yeah, it, it probably did. I thought, the, I thought the way we approached that first 10 minutes was very, very encouraging to understand what was at stake. No, no, when I say at stake, I'm talking about sheep stations here. What's at stake in regard to against the reigning premiers with a lot of players out midly, but their structure is, is their, is their, uh, is their uh, DNA, in their DNA. It's their mantra, if you like. So it was important to, to say that we can match that type of structure. So that was uh, being, that was being through the week. But I thought there was a lot of energy in that second game, in the first 10, 15 minutes, and that probably gave us a little bit of a boost for the confidence, and then you're hard to get dragged back, but they did outscore us fairly well in the second quarter, uh, second half of that game, but by that stage a lot of their blokes were totally spent. Mm. What about yourself when you're coming back to coaching, how did you find it? Was it like riding a bike? Like... Yeah, I... I uh... Forgot to put the, the uh, headphones on there, and I'm thinking, you know, I haven't had any messages yet. And I realise that the bloke downstairs is probably screaming he hasn't had any messages because I haven't been. I forgot to put the head, headphones on and um, kept on asking whether, you know, how long we've got to go. And the clock's right there. I should have known that. And um, yeah, there's a lot of things that you just got to get back. You get back on the bike, but you still got to know the rules. So yeah, there's, there's a bit to do. When's the captaincy going to be decided? Oh, not until the end of the series. I mean, obviously it's only now Cup. Was it noticeable the way the game moved on since the last coach in there? Oh. I haven't been out for 30 years. <laughs> it's been 12 months. You know, the game hasn't changed that much.
And you are expecting any back the next week? Oh, we'll change the side around. Yeah. yeah. We've got to change the side around. We've got to give as many players as we can opportunity. What about having a bit of a chat before we go to the Sheets? How was, how was that? Oh, well, we go back a long way. Yeah. Never really played on him. But my association with Richmond was 1976. And I started playing 72 and 80. I think he started in 1932. So it's a long time ago. Great. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Thanks,